It was the ideal balance of sophistication and luxury mixed with a little sport, so it just fit my personality. I got my dream car at the time, which is the 93 Acura Legend. It was the dream color, it was the dream car. We took care of each other. Before I got in a wreck, it was about 283,000 miles on it. I thank everybody at Acura for taking it from the dead and bringing it back to life. And he had explained how his car had been hurt, and, and I said, I know people that could fix that. The majority of the first three or four albums were actually written in this Acura Legend. So if I'm ever done with it, it needs to be put in a museum. Are you ready to go see it? You yeah, hell yeah, man, I'm so ready to go see it. I can't wait. This was my first car where I really felt like I had accomplished something in life. He really liked the car, right? So do we just keep it completely stocked the way he had it? Or how do we modify it and that it keeps everything that he loved about the car? And the reason I love the paint job of it being gold is because it matched my complexion, man. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> A boy and his toy. My baby. <laughs> My man! Wow. I need to pop that. Wow! <laughs> New sound system. Yeah! Hell yeah. What people will see is precision crafted performance in the past and precision crafted performance now. For SEMA, how do we take that performance image and ramp that up? Low stance and the bigger wheel. Immediately you recognize that as a performance car. Internally, we have this word that we use. It's called man-machine synergy. When the machine and the man kind of work together, legendary things could happen.